Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to react to and review episode 2 of season 5 of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. This one's called I'm in Love. Uh, nothing much. We all saw the last episode, so let's get into it. Oh yes, and I forgot I finally got my eyebrows done. <laughs> I know it's superficial, but the last time I got my eyebrows done was March, April, May, June. Three months, whatever. Anyway, let's get into it. That's good that they um, showed an image of Breonna Taylor because her her murder has really been swept under the rug um, with everything that's going on. I mean, now is at the forefront, but it, it was really, um, it took a back seat to a lot of um, the other unfortunate murders that are going on because a lot of times uh, murders of black women, you know, at the hands of the police really get swept under the rug. So I'm glad that they um, showed her black women and black trans women as well, black queer women as well. So they get a drink afterwards as well? Who did they all vote for? I voted for you to go home. But Are you serious? Yes, I am. You're, yeah, you're, you're joking, right? I'm not joking. It's not personal, bro. No, that's personal. <laughs> that sounds completely personal. I think she said it's not personal, and I think she gave a reason why. I don't think it is. But it didn't affect you. It's cool. No, it, it could have affected her. Everyone else saw. That's not a real apology. I'm sorry that I hurt you. We're all predators, and you don't really have to apologize if that if, if that's how you felt then that's how you felt if you like Derek more than mayhem then that just that's what it is but I understand mayhem um, being irritated with it though but yeah. oh this is awesome. who was the first girl why do they keep on shoving her down our throats Tessa Thompson it should have just been Tessa Thompson She's a stupid queen. <laughs> you all got a vote. How does that feel? I don't know if I did the right thing. I should have brought in some wino, maybe. Because on China, Derek and Mayhem, they believed that they could do it. And you didn't believe in yourself. And that's an all-star thing. What does that have to do with what's going on? Cracker wants to put my name on the lipstick with white out. Okay, first of all, you're not Ben Dilla Crim and you were sure. And second, you're not the judge, so slow your roll. And third, like, there's no third because just shut the f up. Yeah, exactly. Angina was in the bottom. Shut up. It is. Done what? Help me sleep. Go to bed. Yes, go to bed. What are you talking about? Angina wasn't in the bottom. Shut up. Help me sleep. I don't like cracker. I don't know about apple juice. Every time I look at it, I think of urine. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what? Isn't he the one on Modern Family? Who? Ooh. Shay. Shay, yeah. And uh, Blair. Blair. Yeah. Shay, I understand. But Blair. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> They're going to choose their teams. You are this week's team captain. To choose your own group members. Dodgeball. Raya and Shay. Angina so small. John Stamos. Is that the main guy? They look alike. <laughs> hmm. John Stamos. Okay, I know. Who are the other crushes you think? I say Michael B. Jordan. Denzel, Zach Efron. I'm still thinking about what happened this morning with Cracker and the White Owl. I felt like to her. Hmm, so fitting. Okay, so 
Okay, so I'm definitely not recording my reaction to this, but um, yeah, I'll record my reaction to the actual performances, I guess. It as far as crushes, I've had a lot of crushes, like celebrity crushes over the years, but now it, it just dwindles because I can't stand any of these men. So um, my three consistent crushes are um, Tramonte Rhodes, Lakeith Stanfield, and Kofi Sirabo. I think Kofi's the only unproblematic one out of all three of them. So, but yeah, those are my crushes. <laughs> okay, so we're about to get into the main performance. Let's get into it. I don't like that outfit. <gasps> Tessa <Tis adopted! laughs> Is that a mullet? She makes a mullet look so good. <laughs> These looks. I like Juju B's look. I'm trying to see. <laughs> That's cute. The outfit, India's outfit's okay. It's a little too much for me. I like Blair's look. I like her wig too. Ooh, they're a little off. I like her. I like Cracker's look and her hair a lot. The outfit's a little ill-fitted on Blair. These outfits are so cute. Oh, that's why Angina looks weird. I'm like, she has hair. <laughs> I love those shoes. Give me those shoes, Angina. Oh. That's a cute look. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> I think it's funny how some of the girls, they have like a light look and like a light romantic look and the other girls have like a red look. <laughs> that was cute. It was my favorite. I like Shay. Ooh, runway! I don't think they had a runway last time. Last episode. Oh! The makeup's nice. The makeup's really nice. Because I haven't been liking um, India's makeup as of late, but I really like her makeup here and her hair. Oh, racial unity. Mm. It's cute. I don't know. I give it a 7. Boo! <laughs> Juju has body yaddy yaddy. That's nice. I don't like the hair though. I give it an eight. Hmm, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Self-made. Uh, that's a ten. What, pink? <laughs> uh, seven. I like the hat. It's so big in the front that that... Now that's actually a good representation of tool. Because I didn't like the tool category on season 12. I didn't really like what the girls were bringing, but that last one was good. I give it a nine. What is that hanging from her dress? Eight. Ooh. 
<laughs> Ooh, I love Rue's makeup. That is such a perfect fit. I think I would have done without the nipples. I don't, the nipples, I don't know why, but that's like perfect. Ten. Oh, who else? Oh. <laughs> that's cute. I give it an eight. <laughs> that's nice makeup. That's a nice outfit. I give it a nine. Those are nice outfits. I love Shay's makeup and India's makeup the most. Okay, we're back. So I watched the critiques from the judges and Shay won. I knew she was gonna win. I thought she gave the best performance. I thought she looked great. Her runway was great. So I'm glad she won. Um, I didn't think that there were going to be three bottoms. I thought it was just gonna be Angina in India, but they added Mariah, so. And then Angina did the whole, these girls, these girls belong here, these girls deserve to be here. I don't, I don't know why she did that, but um, I don't know if Cracker got in her head, but um, I really like Shay's outfit right now, this, um, her lip sync outfit, anyway. So I think that Shay, cause then they also threw in the fact that Mariah and Angina were on Shay's team and she more than likely will not vote for them, but I'm not sure. I think that Shay chose India and I think the girls chose Angina. So let's see who the lip sync assassin is. I can never remember her name. Um, the one from season four. I think she's gonna be on here. What is her name? Is that Evie again? <laughs> oh, uh, Alyssa Edwards. Dita Ritz. That's what I was thinking. I think she's gonna be on here too. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I love Shay's outfit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's a duck walk. Footwork. <laughs> this is really good. I feel like um, Alyssa, Alyssa's outfit is similar uh, to uh, Evie's outfit from last week. <laughs> no, I think Shay Shay got this one. Ooh, so who did she uh, choose? I think Shay won that one. Look at Blair. Wow. So that's how it works. Mm. You did better than her. <laughs> Nude, nudie, nudie. India. It might be Angina. Hmm. Gosh, I'm always crying. Oh gosh, is Miss Cracker going to be the villain of this season? Next week's maxi challenge reminds me of the club challenge from All Stars season four. I really like that uh, challenge. They should have just did that again. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Miss Angina, Miss Angina. Like I said, I was really excited to see her. So 
I hate that she just got in her head and it's hard like I don't know like I think when we think of vets in any regard like sports whatever we think like oh you're older you're wiser but it's like it can be harder for I don't want to say older people she's not old but you know it could be hard it, it could be hard to like keep up with the trends and, and keep up with the young girls young queens and um I mean she looked great but I think that she got in her head like she's an all-star she deserved to be there so maybe I guess she was just you know she was just insecure about that like because I think some people are like okay well you've been doing drag for so long and you were on the first season you should have this confidence but it's like I understand that I mean I can't personally understand but I'm sure you know when you get older you start to it's, it's like a weird thing it's like society says that you're better than everybody because you're older but then they um Put the younger girls on like a pedestal over the older queens because I mean there's a there's a lot of people there's a lot of people who are fans of Drag Race who have never seen the first season like I was I was 18 when that came out so I can only imagine um, the young the the people who are watching now were probably in like elementary school or like middle school so um, but I, I really like Angina. Um I actually I mean I can't really remember the performance I don't. I don't feel like she was the worst. I don't know. I would, I would definitely India and maybe Mariah. They were just a little lackluster to me. So I think, but I think Shay deserved that win. I thought her lip sync was sickening. I loved the outfit. I loved everything. I forgot who did I say was top four. I think Shay. Who did I say? Shay, <laughs> I already forgot. I know Shay is gonna be top four. That's what I think. Shay, Juju B. I did say Mayhem. I don't think that anymore. Shay, Juju B, Blair, <laughs> and Cracker. I don't know. I just change it every week. Anyway, so yes, can't wait till next episode. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And look forward to my reaction and review of episode three of season five of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. Thanks for watching.